We now want to take a moment to acknowledge a Valley organization that's celebrating 43 years of providing economic and educational opportunities to members of our community. And joining me now is Martin Quintana. He is with the Chicanos por la Causa. You are the chief operations officer over there. That's correct, yeah. You're a big deal over there. And we're glad <laughs> that you're spending some time with us this morning to really kind of um, acknowledge the significance of some 43 years. Right, right. I, I guess congratulations, in effect, are, are, are somewhat in order. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having us. Uh, you know, we've been, uh, we've been around 43 years, obviously, and, uh, you know, providing service in the community. And, uh, you know, back in, uh, in the late 60s, uh, you know, a group of, uh, of uh, individuals, you know, started an organization and to, uh, to really address issues in the community. Let's and talk specifically about what those issues uh, look like, you okay. know, with, with families and with, with children and with, with, with just really people that, that are really our neighbors. Right, right. Well, sure. The, uh, you know, basically, the, uh, there's uh, individuals that have different needs, or whether economic needs, or uh, that uh, we can help them with. Uh, and we provide service in the areas of, uh, of housing, of uh, economic development, uh, health and human services, as well as education. And so within those, there, there's uh, over 30 different programs we've actually uh, sued the community with. And, uh, and the idea is really to provide economic empowerment to families that can help them, you know, to, so they can help themselves and be sustainable. Uh, and so part of this, we do it through uh, different uh, sites across, you know, across Arizona and, and now even Nevada. We have over uh, 60 facilities and sites that we provide the services through. Uh, close, to eight, close to 800 employees that uh, help us provide the services you know, to the community. So uh, the acronym you use is CPLC, mm -hmm. and um, without the services that CPLC provides, the truth is that a lot of these families would would really be in a tough spot, a tougher spot, I should right. say. Yeah, there's a you know th there's a lot of needs in the community. It's hard for not just us as an organization, nonprofit, but also any any nonprofit to really provide all the services that are needed out there, but you know, we, we do our best to, you know, to see what we can help with. Uh, and so part of the, the, I think the strength that we have is that uh, we provide uh, the service in different areas, whether it's housing, whether it's uh, to start a business or There's expand a the business. There's a broad spectrum of aid that you can provide as Correct. opposed to just really kind of being really narrow Correct. In, in, Correct. in your services. And yeah. I think that's, that's critical. And I think that's mm -hmm. an excellent bis business model that probably in large part has been the reason you've, you've been able to stick around for 40, 43 years. No, exactly, exactly. Um, One thing is that, I'm sorry. Uh, let's talk about the families. I want to make sure we have some time because sure. there's three families in particular that we wanted okay. to introduce our audience right. to, um, starting right. with the Abril family. Yes, yes. Um, we, uh, we're going to be recognizing the, uh, these three families uh, at, our, at our dinner coming up on Thursday. And the, uh, you know, this, uh, the Abril family has a history of, uh, in the Valley uh, over 50 years of being in business and very successful uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, they have uh, restaurants and uh, La Canasta, and they also have a, a production, a food production company that they have a lot of employment. And this is the Garcia family. What, in, in a nutshell, what have they done? The, the family, uh, they originated back you know, in the early 1900s in, uh, in Williams, you know, in, uh, close to the Flagstaff area. And in uh, in Sensen, they've also moved into uh, into Guadalupe, but very involved in the community and different aspects of it, uh, civic engagement and, and politics, and, and also very uh, very entrepreneurial. Let's lastly bring up the Ortega family so we can give them their due credit for being such uh, movers and shakers in our community, and people can really find out more about everything they've done to mm -hmm. provide services and uh, to all of our neighbors here. Yeah. And we also want to let people know that the CPLC's 43rd annual anniversary dinner is this Thursday at the Arizona Biltmore, and those three families will be recognized: the Abril family, the Garcia. Garcia family and the Ortega family. So to reserve a table, there's the information right there. Martin, thanks so much for coming thanks on. Thanks for having me. And thanks for making us part of your day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.